Hi all, I'm Saleh Saad and my group member are Ali and Amy. So today we are going to give a quick explanation and story about uh, snark history matching. So I will proceed on the fault transmissibility multiplier and aquifer volume and if there is a time I will uh, proceed on the aquifer productivity index. For the fault we have two cases which uh, is uh, when the multiplier when the multiplier number is 0 and 1 so first of all we have to copy snark underscore hit and paste it here and rename it as snark underscore uh, fault which case uh, the first case is uh, 0 after that we open it and go for the grade section include include file which is fault in the type of INC which is here includes fault in the type of INC this actually this file the fault represents the uh, grade cells of each fault fault 1 fault 2 and fault 3 so after that we add this code mult FLT which is the multiply of a multiplication number of, for, of, the, of the fault which fault fault 1 because we are dealing with the fault 1 multiply with the zero then slash and then slash here then save it and run it in the t navigator so we'll have this actually we can see here in the region Fibna, it is a three fault this one fault one fault two and fault three we are not we're not dealing with the fault two and uh, fault three because there is no any producer here we are only dealing with the uh, fault one because uh, the producer is here in the middle and in the for, uh, in the fault one. So, uh, in order to get uh, the which case is the best for the pressure, as we can see here, there is as we can see here, there is no any distribution of the pressure from this region to this region because the fault is reacting as a seal. As long as you can see here so we close this file and open the another file which is fault 1 and the multiplication number is 1 we do the same thing include file fault which is in the type of INC and add the multi FLT code fault 1 and here you convert it you uh, multiply the fault 1 with 1 after that save it and run this file after we run we get this this is the saturation of oil for the pressure we can see here the distribution of the pressure in the whole reservoir there is no any uh, transmissibility there is no any seal because in the zero the transmissibility the fault is reacting as a seal there is no any transmissibility between this uh, region to the another region so our best case in the fault is uh, zero. After that, we we are done with the fault. We are proceeding to the aquifer volume. In the aquifer volume, we have two cases, which is uh, when the volume is multiply one multiply by one times ten to the power of seven and also to the power of eleven. In the uh, we have to actually uh, copy snarkis and rename it as snark output 7 and then go for solution section in the aquif tip code id which is the id of the aquifer because we only have one aquifer here is the depth of the aquifer here is the pressure it's the default and here is the volume the volume of the aquifer is here we uh, added one E it means uh, 10 to the power of 7 so uh, save this file and run it and do the same thing in the aquifer 11 in the solution section here you go uh, 1 multiply 10 to the power of 11 after that run it for the both of them actually in the aquifer volume uh, as long as the aquifer volume is increased as long as the pressure 
increase as long as the, also the sweep efficiency will increase so we will have a high recovery of oil how high produ uh, oil produ produced production yeah and uh, yeah i got that so uh, thank you all uh, and i hope uh, you get benefit from this video thank you hi everyone and welcome my name is Aini and i will demonstrate about the second type of sensitivity analysis graph in which I have to do a matching process and in this matching process I have to choose and compare in between two three different parameters of uh, in the reservoir include the fault transmissibility multiplier the second one will be aquifer productivity index and the third one will be aquifer initial volume which in letter I will have to match with the simulated bottom hole pressure graph and then from these two data I will have to choose the best case of the scenario so let's begin with the right hand side here I have a photo which is a matching image and here I have a 27 total of data that I need to simulate so let's begin with fault transmissibility multiplier 1 with productivity index 5 and 1 initial volume of 1 to the power of 7 so first we select the history matching folder and then after that you right click on the snark hist and you copy it after you copy that you click this and you rename it as a, a snark dash snark match uh, dash ftm one dash aqv one e seven dash pi five dot data. Okay. Then from here you open it up double click and then from here you just scroll down all the way to the solution section because that's the only thing that you need to ensure is correct summary solution is here so as you can see here is you go to Equifact and then you check out the uh, aquifer volume of 1E7 which is here and then the volume of the initial volume of the water is 5 so that's the one set up the VND index and it's checked so what you do next is you have to save it after you save it, you go to the T-Navigator, and then I open it. T-Navigator, I go to desktop, and I go to my history matching, and I select this data. And after I select this data, the T-Navigator will simulate and calculate the history matching. So right now it's calculating. So as you can see here, I will press the red button, which is the run calculation. So this will run the calculation on the C navigator from the coding. It translates into a graph and some data visualized that you can actually look and imagine how it goes inside the reservoir. So from here, let me make it big. It's 82%, 84%, and bam, it's done. Is done. I want to make it obvious. I put grid lines and I put well names and I put well status. So first I'll go to the graphs and I go to the fifth layer of both of them. Uh, no, I really go to the fifth name and then I choose the region one for production one and four. Region two is the producer. So what I'll do is I go to this button which is the create screenshot and this is when I save the data. So I will rename it as snark match uh, underscore dash ftm1 dash aqv1 e7 dash pi5 dash pod and I save it here. So I'll do the same for the production too. The same thing, create screenshot and then after create screenshot and I rename it as a snark match dash FTM uh, 1 dash uh, AQV 1 E7 dash PI 5 and then dash part 2 so I will have to save all of it until producer the same thing create screenshot and then rename it uh, as a snark match dash FTM 1 dash AQV 1 E7 dash pi 5 dash plus and I save that and I go to plus 4 and I'll do the same thing too 
So I'll go here and I'll rename to the title. So it's mark match uh, dash f no ftm one dash aqv one e seven dash pi five dash producer four. Okay. Then after that, I'll go to the producer and I'll save this too. Mark match dash FTM uh, one dash AQV one E seven dash B R five dash producer. Okay. okay, so we're done here. So what happened it was like I'll go to this and I'll remake a new folder and new folder and this new folder I rename it as a graph. Uh graph of smart match ft and smart match dash fdm one dash aqv one e seven dash pi five okay so I cut all of this and I put it all group it inside here so it's all there so I'll do the same thing for all the remaining twenty six uh, simulation the same thing and from there I will choose the best case after running the 27 simulation, this is our best case scenario, which is the FDM 0.0, aqifer of 1 e9, and aqifer productivity index of 50. This is because, as you can see, the dotted line is the uh, all rate history matching, uh, and then the the constant, like a really bold line, line is the normal, the the one that we do. So, as you can see, there's no difference between it because there's no difference, which means this is the most uh, compatible. The most, uh, the best case scenario for this uh, sensitivity analysis for history matching. Thank you. That's it. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Ali. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to get the history match for the water breakthrough using Key Navigator. Our objective is to uh, run a sensitivity analysis for the uncertainties, and the purpose is to identify reservoir uncertainties properties and adjust them to make the simulated and measured rates uh, to an acceptable degree uh, with our history data so first we open T Navigator, as you can see and uh, we copy our best case from our re previous uh, history match snark match data like this this one we copy all the data and we place it in the snark match 2 data and then we copy our hist from the includes to hist orat and then we change our uh, well production control to oil rate like this orat uh, with the wcon hist keyword as this keyword is to declare production wells to match their history wells okay so we have to compare with our uh, history match and set the critical uh, water saturation uh, with the keyword equals in here As the keyword for the equals is used to assign or replace the value of a property for a box cells within the grid cells with the SWCR and then we do the scaling we choose our best case uh, see if the case is uh, improved or worsened as the default the SWCR is 0.22 uh, our best case so far is 0.3 we have to do the history matching as on the T navigator and we have to check our history match we have to run it
and we have to check for the well which well is uh, which well has the best uh, case scenario so we are gonna check with every single well for the water breakthrough So as you can see from the graphs, we have the snarf match 0.3 is the best case. We choose our uh, water rate and the water uh, for the history match. And then, as you can see, we have different graphs. Our best one closest to the history match is the well production 2, as it has the best history match and close, and uh, it has the water breakthrough. So that's it. Now you know how to differentiate between the the best case and uh, if the case improve or worsen. And now you know how to get the the history match for the critical water saturation. Thank you.